Hey everyone and welcome back. So today is a really exciting day. Um, my dad is going to be coming to visit us for the weekend to help us with a project. So we, um, he actually came up last weekend as well. And we, um, me, Tyler, and my dad built this amazing coffee table of ours. And I really wish that we would have recorded the process, but I just, we were so like into it that I just, it totally didn't cross my mind. So we are going to be doing a few projects this weekend, um, which I will be recording so that you guys can follow along and do it yourselves if you like this idea. So um, when he gets here later today, we will, I don't know if we're gonna start anything tonight. We'll see what happens. Um, but I just wanted to make this intro now. <laughs> the dogs. <laughs> anyway, um, I will see you guys later tonight. Good morning, you guys. It is Saturday morning. Um, I just went running with my mom and sister. Actually, I'm gonna put you right here. Uh, so this morning, we went running at Freestone Park, and we ran five miles this morning, which felt really great. Um, it's about 11.30 right now. And I'm on my way to Home Depot to meet Tyler and my dad. My dad arrived last night, uh, but his car broke down right in the entrance of Maricopa City. So Tyler and I uh, went to go pick him up. We tried starting. Ah! We tried starting his car again by jumping, you know, with the jumper cables, uh, but it just wasn't working. So we ended up towing him um, using a hatchet, hatchet or ratchet? I freak, honestly, I'm like so focused right now. The freaking hatchet, ratchet things, you know, the rope. Um, and we attached it to Tyler's truck and the front of my dad's car. And we towed him to our house. So that was a really fun experience. Your discretion. Yeah. We need your dis your so full discretion. This is a waiver of liability. Yeah, right. That you can't sue us, okay? I promise. <laughs> yeah. So um, this, these are the plans for what? The boards, right? That's for the, the doors. That's for the entertainment center. Cool. Okay. And then this is for my. Uh, oh, cool. The shelving. The shelving. So yeah, no, that's all top secret, you know. So, yeah. so they have to. I should blur this out. Blur <laughs> out the numbers. Yes, that price. Okay. This, this is ridiculous. I mean, if this was solid gold, I could understand, but it's not. <laughs> all right. Oh. All right. So we're gonna go to the other Home Depot to go to the cold yeah, lumber pile. Oh, yeah, that's too mean. <laughs> Excuse me. They used to have a really. Here we go. We're gonna see if this is included. What's the first thing we're gonna do for this project? We're gonna measure the cabinets to get some exact measurements, mm -hmm. and then we'll go out and cut wood. Cool. All right, let's go measure. Are we filming this? Right now, it's being filmed? Yes. Oh dear, I'm terrible. No! Uh, <laughs> brother, I don't. It's weird. It's it funny. is weird. It's very weird. It's like. Yeah. Even now, I'm like, I cannot do it in public. When I, I'm so when comfortable. I, when, when I used to sing a lot, you know, uh -huh. I would just go to sing and communicate with people, right? Yeah. And I love it. And then when they had me on television, and they would say, five, four, and I think there, there's no one to sing to, and I'm thinking, I'm not communicating. It was weird. Yeah. Flip, flip. Why don't we do this? Flip it, flip it this way, there and, pick up, and we'll pick up on this corner here. Okay. And use your knees. Oh, babe. Tyler, yes. You get up, if you can get up higher, uh -huh. then you can stand up straight with it like this. Okay. Like this. Isn't that easier like that for you? Sure. Right. Oh no, put your hands on the bottom. Oh, right. <laughs> I'm scared to tip. Oh. Okay. Right now? Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Watch out, Mom. They always told me, measure twice and cut once. Okay. 
It's five sixteenths. I'm sorry. Thirty. It's twenty nine and five sixteenths. Okay. Um, are we filming again? Oh, yes. brother. Okay. So we're going to we're going to cut twenty nine and a half. Two of them at twenty. No. Well, let's see. Make sure the other side is the same, right? Thirty one and an eighth. So go thirty one because we're going to cut the angles on them. So they'll be thirty one and an eighth. I was thinking we'll cut thirty two. And then we'll, then we'll be able to cut the angles, it'll be fine. It'll okay. be easier to work with. We're gonna cut the straight ones on the other one. Okay. So we've got these, these are the up and down ones, yep. right? Now let's cut the, the ones that go this way, which will be 29. And a quarter. Yeah. I think let's do this. Let's go ahead and rip. Here's a here's another thing. Did you already look at this one? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's do this. Let's, I'm gonna get my saw out and we'll get one of those large boards and we'll rip it for that length, for that thickness, and we'll have a lot better looking wood. The machinery that we use has, has doesn't have all this plastic protection on it. You can when you buy it, it usually has this plastic thing on it, so when you push it it opens up. But I was taught from earlier on, just it's more dangerous because you start realizing, you start thinking like you're safe no matter what happens, and then you do something stupid and cut a hand off. So I was taught, even with a, with a skill saw, the, the guard, we, also, we used to lock them open because we'd have to cut sideways angles and all kinds of things. Yeah. And then having an open blade like that, you begin to learn that, that you know the blade is there and you just have to be careful and I believe it's actually safer. So for you, I have to let you know that for you at home who have the saws and all that special stuff, um, you keep doing what's comfortable for you because uh, I can't tell you what to do or what not to do. And I don't want you to do this because I said to do it. I do this for me because I feel safer because I know where the blade's at at all times. I'm more accurate. I know not to stick my hand in the blade except for what's out of 865 years I did stick my finger inside the blade accidentally and had a nice gash here with bone fragments and everything. I don't remember that. But that was Australian and it healed good. So anyway, you do see an open blade and you'll see an open blade on the on the cutoff saw and there's no protection. And even that was with a my, very even, good disclaimer. Even with my father, he yeah. never had protection on he had a radial arm saw and there was no protection. I was taught that way. So oh, anyway, that good. said, you're responsible for yourself. You're not I'm not responsible for you at all. And we're gonna trim them to the exact size when we need to. Perfect. And we're gonna rip them too. So we're gonna cut them at 30. Because I think it's 29 is in an and sixteenth or something. So there's 30. I'm just gonna go 30, 60. And then I'll take one of these and cut these together. Oh, genius. This is only three quarters of an inch thick. And, but I want my saw blade to be up real, as high as it can go. Because the, if this were down at the same level as the thickness of this, I would have to push against the blade. Because the blade would be hitting right here and be pushing towards me. If you move the blade all the way to the top, as high as it'll go, then the blade that's cutting the wood is actually on its way down. So you don't have to push as hard. Project shelves, right dad? Project shelves up on the wall here. Yep, so these are Tyler's shelves. He is currently indisposed right now, but he'll be in here in a second. Hold on, let me open up this window to get more light. Shelves, we're gonna let, put shelves here, 68 and a quarter inches in length and 11 inches out. And up here, it's at, at another 20 inches higher. We're gonna put another identical shelf. 
It's a very simple shelf. There's nothing elaborate about it. It's kind of like, almost like a rustic shelf. Right. Sorry, dog. Yeah. We're not around, never gonna leave you now. Always be by your side. Always gonna love you, gonna love you. I'm, I'm actually hunting for the exact position of the stud, the two by four. Do you have the stud finder? And the part, well, the stud finder will give me a general idea, but the best way to do it is um, if I can find my. Hopefully, the level's accurate. <laughs> do you know how to test the level? I want to show you. You, 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 you throw this up on, on what you're doing, mm -hmm. and you find out where that's at. It's it's almost perfect. Okay, you see the bubbles right in the middle? Uh-huh. Yep. See that? Now we're gonna flip it upside, flip it like this. And if the bubble is still in the middle, your level is perfect. Love you now, always gonna come true, gonna come true. Come true now, always with you for you, with you for you. We're not around, never gonna leave you now. Always be by your side, always gonna love no way, Sandy. Whole tired. Whole tired. Yeah, sixteenth. They're the same. Sixty-eight. Sixty-eight and sixteenth. Sixteen worked. Do this one, I think. Sixteen and three sixteenths. Sixteen and three sixteenths, and this is sixteen and three sixteenths. Yeah, they're both perfect. The screws are. That's only. That's two and a quarter inches. Now our screws are two and a half inches. Yeah. So if we draw straight through. They're going to pop out the other side, uh -huh. but you have that drill and the little grinder thing. Yeah. Nothing. We'll just cut them right off. Okay. It's only a little, just a knob. Perfect. Nice, nice, nice. Perfect. All right. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm your face. I was just thinking if I was getting ready to blow and then you were blowing, it the sawdust would have got my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a mess. Alright. Alright, so we ended up getting a 90 degree clamp from just from Ace Hardware. Um, just to make it easier to put these angles together. As you can see, I did this one. Um, I first drilled a hole in here uh, before I put the screw in. And once I drilled the holes, then I put some wood glue in and then we put in that screw. So I'm gonna do the same thing with this side. Oh. This one's like a ski. Look at that, oh my goodness. Six of that's cut. Woo! Maybe we can, maybe we can fix that. I don't know if we'll fix that at all. Oh, that is what that is, like I say. Still working. Yeah, let's just flip this one over this way. Let's see what this one is. Look at that. Holy Toledo. This might be the best way to do this, like this. Secure one in like we did the last one, and then we'll just then we'll just do the same thing we did. What do you think? Yeah. I think it'd be cheap, because it is harder than that. It's hard. Two by two. You go right behind up here. So I drop ah, that line right there. It cracked again, and I even did the thing. Why? Oh, you pushed it in too far. No way. Oh, here's what I think is going on. You think it's too thin? No. What I think it is, is the screws are too big. The screws are a little bit big. And I think we get smaller screws for that type of wood, yes. Uh, yeah, we need two. Woo! What are you breaking over there? Everything. Solid when we when we put our brace in. We need those three flat. Look good. Oh, here it goes right here. Bum, 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 bum. 
Isn't that bitching? Give me the hammer. Nice. Oh, here's what. Yeah, give me the hammer. Oh my goodness. I got I got some something on the back of my foot. All right, so I'm starting on the second um, frame, and <laughs> already on this first one, I ran into some issues where I drilled, I pre-drilled that hole, but it was too um, wide in diameter that the screw didn't really catch on. So what my dad recommended was to drip some wood glue into the hole and on the screw and then just put it back in there. <laughs> and then I might even have to put another screw uh, from the other side of the frame to keep it um, just even more secure. All right, so this is what it looks like. As you can see, I had to add some uh, wood filler there. And I, sh I don't know why I did this. I added wood filler here, but I should have just sanded it down to match. Um, so I eventually will sand all of that down. And that, these two sides were like perfect. So that's what it looks like right now. All right, so we finished the second frame. Uh, this is just holding it together here. And I have this clamp here because uh, one of these woods after screwing this in wanted to kind of lift up so we added the clamp to keep it down but that's what the second one looks like and then once we finish staining it we'll actually put the burlap on and it's gonna look beautiful all right so we are going to do the first coat of the stain and we're using this hazel wood stain we're just gonna put it on over the top. So, give you love cause you deserve it. Surrender my heart to burn defenses. We never depart, we build like penguins. I'll be praying for life, that's how we plenty. We go meet the earth with the new Adam and Eve, Bob, Ben, version. We so sad, I've been involved to the generations. I'll be the me, I appreciate the one I created. Hot oh, girl, she leave me fascinated. And I said, captivated when I'm staring at her face. Does that look the same? Guys, that looks the same. Have you ever seen that meme where it's like they ask the guy how many colors are in the picture? It's like different shades of red, and they're like, there are three colors, but it's actually like a whole bunch more, and you guys are just colorblind. All right, we just finished uh, stating this first bracket. Sorry, I can hear the dog whining. Uh, so I'm going to show you what it looks like right now. Beautiful. And then uh, for those who heard Tyler say that they're the same color, this is the color it was before and this is the stain that I chose. So obviously different colors, but looks pretty good. I'm liking it. All right, now I just need to sand down the second one and then we are ready to start staining. second frame front and back and now we're just gonna wait for them to dry and we'll be able to come in here and put the burlap on then we're gonna put on the hinges and attach it to the board I'm so excited oh, yeah. Yeah. We're not around, never gonna leave you now always be by your side always gonna love you yeah love you now always gonna come true I'm just gonna hot glue, I think, each of the corners. So like, hot glue, hot glue, tighten it, hot glue, hot glue, tighten it, hot glue, hot glue, tighten it, hot glue, hot glue. So, should be pretty easy, hopefully. Alright, so the hot glue is currently heating up. Do you have um, a gun? I mean, a, you don't have a, um, a, a stapler, do you? You have a stable gun? Because we could have, we could have bought one. All right, Dad. So what do we just do? 
We just went down and we bought a, <laughs> what is it called? A something tough stapler. Hyper tough, hyper tough stapler. What's the uh, yeah, oh, so what we're going to do is we're going to put this, um, this material on this frame. Put it in here. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh my god. There. Drop staples and turn the legs facing upward as shown above. Are they <laughs> facing up? Yeah, they are. Yeah, okay. Then what do you do? Now slide that back. It doesn't want to go back. Oh, there it is. Yeah. And close it. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Did you lose any? No. Do another one here, just to hold the pressure. Okay, and now, this is Okay, right there in between. Yeah. Woo! A little too close. A little too close for comfort. You push right down, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> It is hard. You know what, I mean? what the heck was that? What do you think about talking about the opponent? <laughs> <laughs> You actually push down like that. Well, I'll show you. See, you don't, it's all pushing down. You don't, it's not squeezing. You just, you push down. Oh. Push down into it. I should have told you that. Yeah. 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 And, and just push down on it. That's all you do. It's all the way down. Yeah, you have to hold like the trigger. There you go. We saw swept up in the vault to the generations. I pick up every appreciate the one that created a whole cup. She knew me fascinated, and I said, Captain, we don't want to stay in another place. This is not, this is not. You're getting close to the stable. Well, someone's stable comes so close to the edge. Dad. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, my Gonna come true. Come true. Oh my god, that's amazing! So we're adding a little legs? Yeah. Thank you. We're adding legs. And we need you to hold this so it doesn't okay. slip around all the time. Otherwise, it's gonna go Love you now. Always gonna come true. Okay. Alrighty, count us in. We not around, never gonna leave you now. Always be by your side. Always gonna love you.